All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the JP side just got a pretty significant data download a couple hours ago. And in today's video, we're gonna try to get through all this new stuff together. Okay, so there's a token awakening for this uh, youth Gohan right here. There's also extreme Z awakenings for this uh, Fizz Good Boo, as well as the Tech Majin Vegeta. And we're also getting new Super Battle Road stages, which we knew for a while now, but we didn't know what the actual categories were. So now we do. And a big shout out to my boy Talon on Twitter for the translations. And the categories for these new Super Battle Road stages are gonna be Representatives of Universe 7, Wicked Bloodline, Time Travelers, Universe 6, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Vegeta's Family, Youth, Super Saiyan, as well as Last Resort. Now from what I can see, and obviously this depends on how hard the stages actually are, but a lot of these are probably going to be not too bad if you have the right units, of course. Like Last Resort, for example, is an insane category, so if you have the good units in that category, it shouldn't be too bad, it shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Once again though, they could make it like insanely difficult, so I could be wrong, but there's also Super Saiyan, which is also a crazy category, Goku's family, Vegeta's family of course, both uh, very good categories with amazing units. Movie Heroes 2, amazing category. Um, the ones that I feel like could maybe struggle, uh, Universe 6 is not the best, there's definitely some good units on there, but overall not the best. Uh, Universe 7, now, it has a lot of units that hit really hard, but defensively, um, you, you do have LRUI Goku who can dodge, like, constantly, obviously, but, like, Goku and Frieza, for example, um, you know, they hit really hard, but doesn't, they don't tank very well, uh, same thing with the other leader for the category, uh, the STR Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku, he does build defense over the course of the event, but he never gets, like, that tanky. So those might be a little bit difficult, youth maybe as well, um, but yeah, I mean, there's nothing really here that really surprises me. It's gonna be interesting to see just how difficult they make some of these stages that have like OP units, like a ton of OP units in them, like Class Resort and Super Saiyan, but uh, yeah, there you go guys, those are the new categories. Once again, big shout out to Talon, and uh, as far as when JP's getting them, it's gonna be sometime next week, but for Global, I'm thinking it's probably going to be sooner than a lot of people think, alright? So, my prediction is that it's going to be part of the 350 million downloads for Global, where we will also be getting these stages. I know we're only like a month away, so it seems like it's very soon, but last year, we did also get new stages for Super Battle Road during the 300 million download celebration, so there is some, you know, precedent for this. Anyways, moving on to the Dokkan... Um, a subreddit now where the homie Goresh has so kindly provided us with translations for some new units as well as the awakenings I just mentioned a couple minutes ago. So a uh, big shout out to Goresh here. And why don't we start with the new world tournament reward for the, you know, upcoming world tournament on JP. It's the Teen Trunks friendly battle Teen Trunks from the Bojack movie, who looks pretty dope. Honestly, that art is really nice. His leader skill is super in types, keep plus two. HP attack and defense plus 70%. Super attack causes supreme damage with a medium chance to stun. And his passive is attack and defense plus 70%. Changes Fizz Key Spheres to rainbow. Medium chance to evade enemies' attacks. And then movie heroes category allies keep plus 2. Attack plus 20%. And defense plus 10%. Uh, overall, not too bad. Obviously, he doesn't have a token awakening yet. So he will be much better with an awakening. But uh, that's a solid passive. That's a solid passive. Attack and defense plus 70%. Orb Changer, uh, medium chance to evade attacks, a bit of a support, not bad. His links are Messenger from the Future, Saiyan Lineage, Cold Judgment, uh, Royal Lineage, Z Fighters, and Dismal Future. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Movie Heroes. So that is the new World Tournament reward right there. And then we also have the new Super Battle Road LR. It's an LR Goku and Kid Gohan, Father and Son's Day Off. Their leader skill is Goku's Family, Category Key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%, Super Attack 12 key causes colossal damage, and Seal Super Attack, and 18 key uh, raises defense, so infinitely stacking defense here, and causes mega colossal damage. 
Their passive is defense plus 59%, attack plus 59% while launching a super attack, and gains an additional attack plus 58% when an ultra super attack is launched, and then gain key plus 5 and it recovers 8% HP at the start of the turn as the third attacker in a turn. So a bit of an interesting passive right there. Um, I think that ultra super is going to hit really, really hard. I've already, I've already seen some damage numbers and uh, they can get up there in the damage, man. Like when you launch the 18 key super with that 59% and additional 58%, uh, yeah, they, they can do some damage. And as far as being in the third slot, they can heal you a bit. 8% is not bad. But I don't like putting units that I'm like trying to actually use in the third slot. Because obviously, when you do that, they go away for a while, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, key plus 5 is good. Recovers 8% HP is good. I just wish that this was active, even if they were in the first or second slot. Maybe I'm asking for too much. But uh, yeah, not a bad passive. Obviously, 59% defense is not a lot, but they do infinitely stack defense, stack defense um, on the 18 key. So over the course of an event, they can probably get pretty freaking tanky if you can consistently give them that ultra super. Although they don't get any extra key on their passive when they're in the first or second slot. So if you're not putting them in the third slot, then they could potentially struggle for key. It's, uh, it's definitely possible. I can foresee them, you know, not getting that 18 key super too often, which would be a problem if you can't stack that defense since they only get 59% defense to start. They do, have, they do have LR stats, and if you can rainbow them, um, which you can do for free, obviously, if you complete all the new super battle road missions, then, you know, they probably will start with a decent amount of defense, but if you want them to be really tanky, you do have to consistently get that 18 key super, which uh, might be a problem from what I can see right now. Okay, links on the family, Z Fighter, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, Tracking Speed, and Legendary Power. In categories are Goku's Family, uh, Kamehameha, and Joined Forces. Now, just to be clear, I'm not saying they're bad. They look like a very good LR to me, actually, especially for a free-to-play LR. Um, I just think that maybe getting you know, that 18 key super might be a little bit difficult unless you're putting them in that third slot. And uh, what else? Okay, moving on. There is this final stretch toward Victory Tien, which I think is a brand new unit that's probably going to be on the DB Saga banner. Um, I thought originally it was actually going to be a token awakening, but I didn't really see another... Uh, it's, a, it's an STR Tien. I didn't see another STR Tien that, you know, had... Or like what makes sense for this awakening so i think i'm pretty sure it's a brand new tn his leader skill is str types key plus two hp attack and defense plus 50 percent uh super attack uh, supreme damage and lowers attack and defense passive is key plus two attack and defense plus 80 percent gains an additional defense plus 80 percent if there is one enemy and then gains an additional attack plus 200 percent but defense minus 40 percent and stuns the attack enemy for two turns once only when launching a super attack. So he kind of reminds me of the tech Master Roshi, where he gets this like crazy attack boost when he supers, but he also debuffs himself. Um, but obviously not as you know big of a boost, but he can still probably do some pretty big damage um, with that one super. And he also guaranteed stuns the enemy. And he also gets a pretty decent amount of defense on his passive too, if you're facing one enemy. So overall, it seems like a pretty good unit. Obviously, his stats are not going to be the best, so I'm not expecting anything crazy, but that's a that's a pretty wild passive right there. Links, Crane School, Telepathy, Infighter, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, and the Incredible Adventure. Categories are World Tournament, Dragon Ball Saga, uh, Bond of Master and Disciple, Earthlings, and Final Trump Card. And then we have the Extreme Z Awakening, starting here with the Easy 8 Tech Majin Vegeta, which I know a lot of people have been waiting for for a very long time. His new leader skill is all types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 60%, super attack, causes supreme damage, which is much better than mass damage, with a chance to stun all enemies. So before it was a rare chance to stun, which was like 10%, so chance to stun is definitely higher. I'm not really sure the exact percentage, but I'm going to guess like between 20 to 30% probably. And then passive is attack and defense plus 60%, gains additional key uh, max of 3, an additional attack and defense boost up to a maximum of 66%, or sorry, 60%. Uh, the more HP remaining, the greater the boost. So if you're at full HP, you'll get that 
uh, key plus three and also attack and defense plus 60 percent and obviously as you drop in hp you'll be losing um the key as well as attack and defense incrementally and also if it's your, if your, if your hp is 60 percent or less sorry guys is late my mind's not working properly but yeah if hp is 60 percent or less when launching a super attack then gain an additional attack plus 88 percent once only so you don't have uh, most of this attack and defense plus 60% here, but you will be getting 88% attack for that one turn and probably doing some pretty decent damage. Um, yeah, he's actually usable now. I mean, <laughs> he wasn't really before. And uh, now I can definitely see people, you know, giving him some run. Um, yeah, big improvement, honestly. I, I'm not like overly impressed, but I haven't really seen any like showcases or anything like that yet. So it's kind of hard to say. But he looks like a good EZA, obviously. Uh, a huge improvement from before. Definitely a unit that needed it for a long time. So I'm glad he's finally getting it. And then let's move on to the Fizz Good Boo Extreme Z Awakening. So this guy got a even bigger improvement because he was just so garbage before, man. He was getting, uh, let's see. Okay, so his leader skill used to be all types attack plus 30%. Now it's all types key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 60%. A super attack used to be extreme damage and lowers defense. Now it's raises attack for one turn, supreme damage, and greatly lowers enemy's defense. And his old passive was literally just recovers 25% HP whenever HP is 40% or below, which was really good. Like that's that's a lot of healing, but that's literally all he had before. And now he gets attack and defense plus 66%, gains key plus one, and additional attack and defense plus 22% whenever an attack is received, maximum of key plus three and attack and defense plus 66 percent so he can actually you know do some tanking and some damage now which is awesome and he also recovers 30 percent hp whenever hp is 40 percent or below just think about it like this right like let's say you're doing a hard event like i don't know super bad road or something you get supered you're at like 20 percent hp he comes onto rotation he heals you for 30 percent then you get hit and then um, you know, you're at low HP again, and then he comes back again and keeps healing you every single time you're below 40% HP. It is not a small heal, man. It's 30% HP. Like, that's pretty crazy. So, um, this guy can probably, I mean, look, he's not gonna, like, sustain you by himself. He's not gonna, like, keep you alive, like, by, by himself, but he's gonna help a lot, okay? And he's gonna probably save you some items as well, um, on, you know, some of the harder events. So, I like that a lot man I, I like the fact that he's not just like a good healer now he's an amazing healer that also can do some stuff on his own attack and defense um up to i actually don't know how the way it's calculated to be honest so i'm not sure if it's gonna be like even higher than the combination of the 66 percent but um he should be doing some decent damage and some decent tanking on top of the crazy healing so yeah good extreme z awakening definitely a very significant upgrade and uh, they've been doing these EZAs pretty good recently, man. They, they, they've been doing it with them well because uh, the, what was it? The uh, AGL Super 17 was an amazing EZA as well as the Tech uh, Majin Buu. And uh, yeah, recently I really haven't had many complaints. Like there have been other EZAs in the past where I've been like scratching my head, you know, thinking like, what were they thinking? But, uh, oh, Kale and Khalifla as well. Amazing, amazing Extreme Z Awakening. So, yeah, two more good Extreme Z Awakenings to uh, add to that list. And finally, we have the Token Awakening for the Int Youth Gohan. Leader skill is Int Types Key plus 2. HP, Attack, and Defense plus 70%. Super Attack, Supreme Damage, raises Attack and Defense by 30% for 6 turns. Passive is Key plus 3. Attack and Defense plus 60% and gains an additional Attack and Defense plus 60% when launching a Super Attack and then gains an additional attack plus 60% for three turns after receiving an attack. This kid is getting a lot of attack on his passive, man. 60 plus 60 plus 60 after taking a hit, and also he gives Android slash Cell Saga category allies attack plus 20%. So I'm expecting him to do some big damage, for sure. Uh, some decent tanking. Obviously his stats are not the best because he is kind of a free-to-play unit, I mean, would you consider these guys free to play? I guess so, because you can get them for free. So yeah, uh, yeah, he's, he's basically a free to play unit, right? So like his stats are not the best, but uh, that's a really good passive. Um, also the support side, I like that too. Link, Saiyan Warrior Race, on the Family, Saiyan Lineage, Z Fighters, Gates of Respect, Shocking Speed, and Shattering the Limit. 
The categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, Youth, Andrew Slash Cell Saga, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Rapid Growth. So there you go, guys. Those are all the new details for the new units as well as the new Awakenings that are coming to JP soon. And uh, they all look pretty good, man. Oh, he also gets attack and defense plus, six, uh, plus 30%. For six turns when supering so that also is going to help with the tanking and also the damage output um so yeah this this youth gohan has a very good token awakening um the ecas are very good as well uh this new tian looks interesting this uh, lr goku and gohan um i think are going to be very good too i just want to see if they you know struggle a lot with their um, you know, 18 key to like get that 18 key to raise defense, and uh, also the trunks looks decent as well. So yeah, there you go, guys. That is today's video. That is the data download that JP just got a couple hours ago. And uh, just a quick reminder: we have new super battle stages. Those are the categories. Let me know in the comments down below which one you guys are the most excited to take on first, to test out first. I'm probably. Just gonna like go for the easy ones first, so like last resort. I mean, I say easy now because the category is insane, but maybe when I actually take it on, I'll be like, yo, this is hard as balls. It could be, man, because they know the category is insane, right? So they're probably gonna make the event insane as well. The stage insane, that is, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, that is today's video, guys. That is all I gotta say. Thank you to Talon. Thank you to Goresh for all the hard work you guys put in. We appreciate you. And I appreciate you guys for watching as well. Thank you for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.